Dear Kaylee, a letter from 17. At the time of writing this, March 18th, 2020, you are amidst the corona apocalypse, the illness from Wuhan, China, that managed to dismantle your entire senior year overnight. You're stuck inside doing online school for the next month, wondering to yourself if there's a possibility of prom, a graduation ceremony honoring your four years of high school, or your first musical you worked so hard on. You vowed to only do the pit orchestra with Audrey as long as it wasn't Shrek the Musical, but here you are willing to do anything to put on the show. You're on your way to Michigan State University, and while the Spartan flag hangs proudly up on your bedroom wall, you still manage to procrastinate making your final deposit and commit. You're excited to move on with your life, but a part of you is terrified of losing the relationships you've made in high school. Audrey, Maddie, Anna, Lindsay, Jacob, Ryan, just to name a few. I hope you're still in touch with them, and if not, ask them out for some coffee. They're the most important people in your life right now, so don't let go of them so quickly. You play a lot of instruments, the violin, ukulele, guitar, and piano. As much as you love the violin, you're debating whether or not it's something you want to continue through college. It's been so ingrained in your personal schedule for the last seven years that it feels so empty without it. Have you dropped it, or are still playing it as a hobby? You really want to properly learn the guitar and piano, and by properly, I mean knowing the notes and reading music and chord shapes, not simply watching YouTube videos and playing by ear. Have you gotten an electric guitar yet? You love the sound of them, but you're too scared to invest in one because you're afraid it might be a phase. Same with skateboarding. I hope you look cool while you're boarding around now. You're still insecure about stepping off because you look like a newborn baby deer. It's still a whole lot of fun though. You have an undercut and an eyebrow slit, two very impulsive decisions that you fell in love with immediately. You're curious about how they'll grow in since you have stubborn, thick, straight Asian hair. You've been dressing a lot more masculine lately, something that you've been trying to avoid ever since people told you to stop being a tomboy. You get worried about whether you should look more feminine or not, but in the end, realize that it shouldn't matter. There's a lot happening and a lot left to figure out. In terms of future careers, you've looked at animation, graphic design, or cinematography. Pursuing the art field is hard, I understand. As long as you're still creating, that's all that matters. You didn't go around getting labeled as the art kid just to end up in an office cubicle. I don't know what you're meant for, but it's definitely not that. I hope everything is how it should be, and if not, I encourage you to do something about it. I want you to be the change you need for yourself. And with that said, I hope the future is alright. I hope you're doing alright. And I hope this is just a stupid, cringy video that you made when you were 17 so you can show your friends how far you've come.